Hi friends, today we have a topic road kills. Okay, so road kills it's a mobile based application which is aiming at wildlife protection, right? So road kills is a mobile based application for the protection of wildlife. So this mobile application road kills was launched by the Wildlife Conservation Trust, an organization called as Wildlife Conservation Trust. They launched this mobile application called as road kills. Okay, we know that by the road accidents as well as by the railway line accidents, lots of wildlife deaths are happening, right? So, in order to protect the wildlife from the road accidents as well as from the uh, railway line accidents, we have an application called as road kills mobile application. Okay, now how it is helping to protect the wild animals is, so I said that this is a mobile based application, right? If any wild death, death happened due to road accident, if any person is there, who is having this mobile application in his phone he can take a picture of that road accident okay and he, he can upload it right and along with the picture he can also update the location of that road accident okay and the animal name also whether it is elephant or tiger like that okay so like that the citizens can upload the geotagged photographs to a public forum and that is road kill application okay so by this, we will be having a database of road accidents and the animals which have been killed, right. So by analyzing this all data gathered, we can identify the areas where maximum number of accidents are happened, okay. Thereby, we can take mitigation measures, preventive measures. So road kill application which will help the citizen to report wildlife deaths from road or railway line accidents by uploading geotagged photographs to a public forum and this whole data can be used to identify the crucial road or railway stretches that urgently require mitigation measures. So this will help for the win-win solution for wildlife to make infrastructure development smart and green. Okay. So the user, that means the citizen who taken the photo, he can upload the data like uh, what taxon the animal belongs to, the species name and the area where the road kill happened. Okay. So these are the data a person can upload. So first thing is what taxon the animal belongs to that means whether it is a bird mammal reptile or amphibian like that okay then the species name and also where the accident happened or where the death happened then the information from all records reported from across india with this citizen science initiative will be compiled as a database and that database can be viewed on the map of this campaign's website okay so simply it's a data based system we can gather the data from the we can get the data from the website Okay, and also we can upload the data. Okay, thereby the researchers, the conservationists, they can use the data for the conservation and protection of the wildlife. Okay, and also we can take them preventive measures by knowing where the maximum number of deaths are happened or the area where maximum number of deaths are happening. By knowing that, we can allocate more infrastructure to that area. This data will be shared with students, wildlife researchers or infrastructure agencies who may need it to study the patterns of wildlife deaths on road and railway lines. Okay, so these are the main points you have to remember regarding road kills. Right, now let's move on to the model question. With reference to a mobile application road kills, consider the following statement. First statement, it helps citizens to re report wildlife deaths from road or railway accidents by uploading geotagged photographs to a public forum. So that's a correct statement, right. Second statement. It allows citizens to report daily road accidents in a public forum, thereby enabling the traffic police to punish rash drivers. Okay, so this is not regarding the road accidents, right? This statement is wrong. Why? Because it is not focusing on the human road accidents. It is focusing on the wildlife accidents. Okay, and it is only giving the data, right? Information only. It is not focusing on the punishment or like that. Okay, so that's why second statement is wrong. So the answer will be A1 only.